Greetings everyone, Marcus de Costa here and I am here in Finland um, with our dear sister Magdalene and she was one of the saints who contacted me originally for me to come here and share the gospel of the kingdom and I wanted to give you an opportunity to hear from our dear sister here to find out how things went. I do understand we've got baptism services tomorrow so the weekend is not complete, but I wanted to take a moment just to hear a short word about what has happened here in Finland. So if you can share with the, some of the people some of the things that has happened. Well, Shalom Saints, uh, my name is Magdalene Bogbomon. Um, I'm a Nigerian born, but I'm an Israelite. So uh, when I came to Uzekaupugi, this village, I didn't, there was no fellowship in the sense that we are good fellowship. I remember when father asked me to move to this village, I was kind of grumbling about it. And um, to leave the town, I come to a place like this, I didn't know anyone. So, of course, at the end of the day, I moved with his help, helping me out to get me out of the job and all of that. So, and I got an offer here, so I moved here. So all this why I've been praying and um, really looking for a way to uh, have a fellowship where um, to fellowship with other people who believe like me without me being kicked out of the church because of them um, repeating some things or correcting the pastor talking. So at one point I got to meet um, a possibility was saying that well if you can't find a ministry make one. So, and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to make one, but I didn't know when I was going to do that. So, then one time I was invited to a program. I went there and um, I just said to someone, well, if you invite me on Friday, if it, is it about Bible? I'm not really interested in being anybody's friend. If we're going to talk about Bible and break bread and, um, and fellowship like the old disciples do then I will come. So then somebody from the group just said, hey, Shabbat Shalom. And then I was like, do you call it a delight? And she said, yeah, it is a delight. So that is how we got to start talking. And then uh, she has been also praying for a fellowship. And then through her, we found out that somebody else was also praying for fellowship. And so that is how we all got to meet together. So. When we all um, were together, so we all have a different background, okay? This one listened to that rabbi on the internet and that and that and that. So and I've been taking a discipleship training program uh, at one point, but I didn't complete my, the course. So I knew some things were kind of straight uh, tradition. So then I said, since we are going to have a fellowship, why don't we invite someone who can gear us in the right way, only from the Bible, without anything that it means, like this means like this, this means like that, just straight to the Bible. And then they said, yeah, it will be good. So that is how we invited um, Brother Marcus, and then he said yes. So it was really so amazing, and uh, really excite, exciting, exciting or exciting, exciting yeah. yeah. And, um, but now it came and I am really impressed and um, very blessed indeed because I know now that fear can only keep uh, us not to uh, do what Father has called us to do. But once that fear is out of the way, we are able to do anything and somehow we need to get uh, going before the fear can really, we can step on the door of that fear. And turn it and pull it down. So we have been learning for the past two days, and and I I can say I've been strengthened, and I want to go forth, uh, further with full speed. So <laughs> that has been uh, for this weekend and tomorrow. I'll be uh, rebaptizing because um, I don't know if that is English. Rebaptizing. Baptize. Yeah, re-baptized, uh, because before, I, when I, I came to Mishia, I had a different understanding. It was just a death, burial, and resurrection. So now that I know well what I'm doing, I want to cut 
um, covenant, a deal, covenant with Yeshua, and to have the same baptism with him. And uh, yeah, to be one with him and continue this journey. Amen. Amen. So really here in Usikaupungi. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> that was Amen. So I've been practicing for the last few hours. <laughs> but really here, the gospel of the kingdom has gone forth. The people have been strengthened. And I encourage you to really pray because there are a number of people here who are coming together. And I can see how Father potentially can use those people from Nigeria, from Bulgaria, from Russia, even from Finland and other places to take the gospel back to the, to Estonia, back to that nation as well. So please pray, pray for the saints here and pray for us that we continue to go forth and bring the gospel of the kingdom to the nations. Amen. Shalom. Shalom.